Go, go, just go. This way. Mr. P. <laughs> the man with a passion. Association in Turkey, mm. members of the leadership, former member of the leadership of the Labrain Student Association in Turkey, special guests, special invitees, keynote speakers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. I'm here before you today to deliver a speech about youth and leadership in our society. And as a youth leader, it excites me a lot to speak on this topic. Before I proceed, I would like to ask you, 
two tangible questions. And that is, do you want to be recognized as a hero or a hero in your society? Or do you want to be turned as a coward who abandoned his or her country? I'm sure that the answer is you don't, you don't want to be recognized as a coward who abandoned his or her country. As a leader, we should be a leading factor in our society, in economic and development uh, of in our society. And we should protect the interests and values of our people. We should advocate for freedom, justice, and equality in our society. Young people should use the bridge, creativity, strength, and skills to effect meaningful changes in our society so it can function as best as possible. The younger generation should become the backbone of the nation that the seeds of signs of morals and principles can be sown for our society. Just the word youth, it means yes. Our utmost time is here and it is now. So you have to know that. For the sake of uh, our Turkish brothers and sisters who are among us, I would like to say a few words in Turkish. Bu arada Türkiye hükümetine ve halkine teşekkür teşekkürlerimizi sunmak istiyorum. Bize, kapılarımıza ve kullarımıza açtığınız için bize veren bir fırsatı için militariz. Biz bu ülkenin ergileri olacağımıza söz veriyoruz. Bu ülkenin tesvirgisi olarak hizmet edeceğiz. Yaşasın Türkiye, yaşasın Liberya. Doğru, doğru. <gülüyor> Evet, evet. Yaşarsın Liberya, yaşarsın Türkiye. Arkadaşlar, benim de Türkiye'm var. Hoş geldiniz. Teşekkür ediyoruz. Is that Mr. P? Okay, ladies and gentlemen.
Doctor of philosophy. <laughs> guys were Mumunu Dole who served as the first entrant president 
of Lipsan. So I felt the love yesterday, and I have not seen this in uh, within other communities I've come across in, in talking here. So I want to say again, you're actually doing very well, and you should continue this because the diaspora is very, very important. You know, what you do here today, after 10, 15, 20 years, you guys are going to be the leaders of uh, Liberia. And so, if you're not uh, organized here, it's not going to be good for Liberia to work. Just like uh, what uh, the professor was saying, you know, what you do now, the personal development things you're doing, you know, the organizations, the love you're showing, you know, it's actually going to, and I can see that, based on what I have seen, uh, there's a brighter future for, uh, for, for um, Liberia. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. The academic setting, we say in every action there is an equal and opposite way reaction. That's the basic. So well uh, today the action was we started this and now we are about to stop. And in such location I always reflect to our history because we've come here to look at what has gone and what has passed. We are here to celebrate the history, which many of our scholars have mentioned in their speeches today. Again, I would like to remind you as we close. Once again, I will go back to the basics, like what I do is to close the program. I, will, I can talk more than all this, but I will close by saying thank you to the leadership, both the past and the present. What you are doing is a sacrifice. And to recognize that sacrifice, we cannot do it without you united. So much what we have here is the biggest problem. That's the disunion among the librarian here. I know the outsiders don't understand, but inside we have that disunion. We have to come together. I think that has been the only problem in Africa, in the African Union. Always I take the reference from that. The job of our president from Libya was to unite Liberia, uh, Africa as the jobs of the Ghanaians were to unite. But because of the disunity among us, we couldn't do it. And here we are seeing it in Lipsa, we are seeing it in the African Association. Let's come together, we are just brothers, there's nothing like this union. Let's try to change the narrative, to change the basics, and see what we want to see in the future. I will close again by saying thank you very much for coming.